Hey younglings, I noticed that the leaves in the trees have started to change colors. And so I thought it'd be the perfect time to make a video about the colors of autumn. So in today's video, I am going to show you how we can make the colors of our drawings and paintings look more autumny. But before that, why don't we play a game? So here I have a very special box. And as you can see, it's very colorful because it's got a lot of colors inside. These are color chips that I collect and they inspire me to choose colors. And now I'm going to use it to ask you which of these two colors do you think it looks more autumny? This one or this one? And which of these two do you think looks more autumny? This one or this one? I've got some more. What do you think about these two? Which one do you think is more autumny? This one or this one? And then I've got a yellow. What do you think about this? Or do you think this one is more autumny? And then let's take a blue. This one or this one? Which do you think is more autumny? And the last one I have a pink. Which one do you think looks more autumny? This one or this one? Oh, actually I forgot. I have one more. Green. Do you think this one looks more autumny or this one? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to tell you which ones I think they look more autumny. Between these two, I think that this one looks more autumny. Between these two, I think this one looks more autumny. Then between these two, I think that this one is the winner. <laughs> and then between these two, I think this one looks more autumny. And um, what about this? I think this one. And greens, I think this one. And blues, I think this one. So my question is here for you. How do you think we can make this color? So how can I transform this one into this one and this one into this one? Because there is a way that we can make this one becoming that one. And so our drawings will look much more autumny. So I took a few of our color combinations and uh, I have a yellow, I have a light blue, light pink, vermilion and orange yellow. And I'm going to show you the first way we can make them become into autumn colors is by adding a little bit of brown. So you can have different type of browns. I think the one that works best is called raw amber, but any brown will give this effect. The only important thing is that you just put a tiny, tiny amount. So we don't need a lot of brown. Here I have my palette that I constructed in the way that I showed you a few weeks ago when we made a video about how to keep your colors alive. And so if I take some of the brown and I take some of this yellow, which is uh, it's actually called mustard. Let me see if I have a normal yellow. Yes, I do. Just we want just normal yellow just to show you for this experiment. And when you have a dark color and a light color and you have to mix them, you always need to remember that the darker one is more powerful. And so you just need a very, very little amount of that in order to change the color of the lighter one. So I just found a very small brush. Perhaps it's a bit too small to show you. Let me see. Maybe this one. This size probably would look better. And I wonder if I should bring you closer. Let me see. Maybe just a touch of this one. So I'm just moving things around so you can see better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we are going to try this combination. I'm going to try moving this into this. So it is not the closest, but anyway, it is taking, you can't see, wait a minute. 
wait a minute. Okay, just a very, very small amount of brown and more yellow. You see, is coming. Here, so we got the first one, right? So now I'm just rinsing my brush and we're gonna try with the blue. Give me a second, I'll just clean my brush because it's really important when you want to do different colors that you keep your brush clean. So we're gonna try this one now, blues. Sorry, I was having some problems to try and find a color like that. And this I think is the closest I have, but it's darker anyway. I tried one but it came out grey, which in fact it is very very autumn color anyway. So we got this blue and just put a touch of this. Okay, so here I have my autumn blue and I show you as well, sorry, I forgot to show you the original one because I got panicked that I didn't have the right one, you see, it's slightly different but it's still a type of blue. So by adding brown, we made it look more autumny. So now we try pink. Clean my brush, put some pink down. See if you can still see pinks. I try to be quick, so I don't want to bore you. So I'm trying my pink. Again, it's not a perfect pink, but the closest I can give. And look, by adding a touch of this brown, you might need a little bit more pink. Just give me a second. Here we go. The light is also changing, which it doesn't help. So we made this one a little bit more autumny. So they're starting looking good. Perhaps I should actually put them side to side, like on the top, the ones that we make. So that they will look all together, our autumn palettes. Here we go. I think this looks really autumny. So the first is this, this method that I show you. Just add a touch of brown. And let me see if I can bring this color closer. The second method is using the color wheel. This is a special color wheel. It's called Gumbly Color Wheel and it shows the outside and the inside. So this method is that if I want to make this yellow look more autumny, I need to add the opposite color that lives in the color wheel. So opposite yellow, I have blue. So if I add a little bit of this one to that one, I should get an autumn color. So what about this red? It's probably somewhere here. So I should add to this red a little bit of this turquoise and I should get an autumn color. What about, let me see, what did I have? This green that I have here, this green I should probably add a touch of purple. And what if I have this blue that at the moment is living there? <laughs> should I add maybe a touch of orange? So let's try if this works. I'm going to start with this one, which is the first, it's red. And I said that if I wanted to make it look more autumny, I needed to take the opposite, which is some of this. So I'm going to give it a try, a little bit of water. It's always good to have. And then I have a touch of blue from before. Let me see what comes out. So I'm going to have this one, which looks pretty close. I'm going to put it on the top as we did before. We're going to build our own palette. And again, I show you what looks at the beginning when it's clean. There's nothing in it. It looks this before and after. It looks much more autumnly. So it actually works this combination between this and this. So adding a touch of blue in this red, it gives you an 
autumnly red. Now, let me clean my brush. Now we start and try yellow. So I have this yellow here, and it should be this yellow. Let me just put it there, kind of. Now I want to make it more autumny. So I want to make it looking more like this. And I said I was going to use the opposite, which is blue. Okay, so I have this a blue, it's called blue violet in here. Colors I've got, I just put a touch actually here on the side. And then I mix them. I just need a touch of water. It's actually becoming more green. But yeah, it looks pretty close. It's probably a touch more green. I wonder if I should add a different type of blue, which is more purpley blue. I have a different one here. It's called deep magenta, but it's still like purple. So if I just add a touch, let me see what happens. Oh yes, look. I think that's what he needed. It's much more close to the one we had. I'm going to put it up here. Perfect. I think it worked, but it worked better with this purpley one rather than the bluey one. Good to know. Okay, so I think this experiment, it has been quite successful. We just have to look very carefully to the color wheel and match exactly the color that is opposite. And here we have some colors of autumn. The first palette I did by adding a little bit of brown to the main color and the second one I did by using the opposite color on the color wheel. So I truly hope you enjoyed this video and let me know if you try it and if you have some questions or troubles just write me in the comments and see if I can help but after this I'm really looking forward to do some autumn paintings. <laughs>